Hi everyone, it's it's been a little while. It's been like a month, a month and a half, like half a year, a long time. Okay, so basically, I've been streaming a lot on Twitch recently, and so that's what I've been up to, and that's why I haven't uploaded any videos. I was kind of like, I got to 199 videos, and I was like, wow. My 200th video has to be amazing, doesn't it? So, I was planning out for a while what my 200th video would be for a big special, and then I didn't do anything. And then I just sat there and I kept thinking, what am I going to do? And then the more, the more that I thought about it, the more I realized 200 videos is really not much of a celebration. But, the issue is, at that point, I had been waiting so long that I had to do some kind of special video for, like, a comeback. Because if, if you're waiting that long and then it's just a normal video, like, that's lame. So, that is what happened with me. So, I am uploading my 200th video. This is my 200th video. Uh, the game is I Want to Be the Ario Trap. And it is the first needle game that I've ever played and I want to be the guy. Uh, needle game is basically just no traps or anything, just all spikes and then you just kind of have to go through a whole bunch of really precise jumps. And while I was waiting to get my, my 200th video up, what I, while I was deciding, I hit 300 subscribers. So now I've been steadily increasing past like very slowly but I'm at like 305, 307 or so now and that's pretty cool I didn't I didn't expect to hit it at that point and so Twitch I will start talking about the live streaming now because it has been pretty pretty big for me um I was streaming one day and then a couple guys came into the stream, one was Tagirian, and the other was Lol's Waffles. And they saw me playing a fan game, and they were like, Hey, you, sh you should, um, you should, uh, join our little Twitch group. You should apply and, uh, see, see what's up. And what their Twitch group is, Twitch team, it's called the Wannabes. And it is a big group of people who play fan games mostly, but they also play really hard games, really hard platformers mainly. And when they said you should apply, I was like, okay, sure, why not? And I did, and I got accepted fairly quickly. So I am now a wannabe. That's okay. Um, and so one of the first things I did, uh, they said I should play this game. Ario Trap, the needle game, and I've been streaming a whole bunch of different fan games since I joined the team. I've been gaining a lot of followers. I think when I joined, I was at 65 followers or something. Now I'm at like 88. I don't know. It's it's been growing pretty quickly, just out of nowhere. So I'm liking what's going on, and um. It's also grown my, my YouTube channel a little bit, which is why I've got a few more subs. And yeah, so hi. I'm going to talk a bit more about the game now. Um, a few things. It's got some pretty difficult jumps, but overall I found it not too bad, aside from just one simple single jump. And when I get there, I'll kind of mention it. But a lot of these I actually did pretty quickly, like under five tries, under under three. There were a few that I... Actually, I think there was one that I did in one try. Um, and people who were watching were kind of impressed because they were like, is this really your first Neo game? You're doing really well. And then there were other people who were like, Eh, it's not that good. So, you know, people are gonna be people. And, okay, so, here is one of the first hard jumps. This is 
called a diamond jump. I just did it there. Um, apparently it's very, very common for people who are good at uh, fan games to be able to beat it, but that was one of the first diamond jumps I've ever done, and it's it's really difficult. Diamond jumps really suck. Also, so the editing, the way I went about editing this video, I went for a Fatal Brain 1000 approach. If you guys know who he is, he's some Japanese fan game player on YouTube. And so I kind of followed what he did, and you just show one death, and then you show a successful attempt. Like you show your first attempt, and then your last attempt. And then occasionally if there's like something special that happens in between, you show that as well. So that's what I did. But it's not actually edited down as much as you might think. If you wanted to watch it on Twitch unedited, then I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check that out. And yeah! So this... Yeah, first Needle game. I had a great time. It's really not bad. And... Uh... What else is there to say? I guess the U2 engine sucks. If you know anything about fan games, there's an engine called U2, which is the most popular fan game engine. It's the one that pretty much everyone uses to make fan games. But by far the best is uh, I want to be the engine trial, in my opinion. That's what this game used, and it feels very nice, and it doesn't have like so many glitches and broken parts that U2 has, and I don't understand why so many people say YouTube's the best. It's it's really not. So, I like this engine a lot. I think it feels great. And I, I wish more fan games were made using this, but obviously they're not going to because at this point it's all U2. I love this right here. So, I'm uh, first attempt I got there, second attempt I tried jumping all the way to the the portal, but I didn't quite make it, and I died. And then the third attempt, I, I made it, so that, that was unedited completely. So just three attempts to do that. It was fun. Um, let's see. We're not really at any hard parts right now, so there's not much to talk about. It's all pretty standard stuff, pretty simple jumps, but. I will actually add the download to the game in the description in case anyone wants to play it. I don't know if anyone will, because I don't know how how much my subscribers like that kind of stuff, but just in case. Oh, here's a jump right here. So I really hate those, the ones where it's kind of like you have to jump up and go in between the spikes. It's They're difficult. They're very difficult. That's uh, that's that's all there is to say about that. And approaching the end of this screen, that's the end. And this it's all big spikes, really, really easy screen. Actually, I do this in like two or three tries, and then this right here I actually do it in my first try. After, oh never mind. After that one I guess. That that's basically my first try, kind of. But I'm surprised they made that jump. Um, this screen, I was like freaking out. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I. It's very nerve-wracking because you see this huge long maze with nothing in it except for one spike at the end, and you're like, I'm gonna try to jump over that, and I'm just gonna be like dying immediately because I mess up a very easy jump, and then I'll have to walk all the way back and blah. But what this game does for this, it's like if you try to trigger the spike and you go back a little bit, then you die. But if you just keep running, you're fine. So I survived there. This jump is also pretty difficult, this one right here, because you kind of have to get super close to the spike for that right there. Very close. Uh, squares, super easy. Super dupa. Blip, blip, blip another save another fairly easy section here and these jumps are difficult they 
it's kind of like luck for me. Also right there, two tries. Two tries to get through that, that diamond. And I kind of saved because I'm afraid. Continuing on. Another one of those corner jumps. <coughs> then one of these falling jumps with one of the inverse corner or whatever, blah. I don't know what to call them. There's a name for everything, but I don't know all the names because I'm not pro fan gamer. And this is... Oh, right here. I had to leave this part unedited. This was my first double diamond ever. Tagirian, who was in the stream at the time, uh, he was talking about how there was one jump in the game who he, that he figured would take me forever and it would like trip me up and get me stuck there for a long time. That was the jump. I did it in five tries. He, he said he was like left speechless because he didn't expect me to do it that quickly. I didn't either. Because double diamond is really difficult. In this engine apparently it's a bit easier, which someone told me, which made me feel bad. But whatever. Um, because I still did it, and it's cool, and it was a hard jump, but I got it. This, right here, this is the hardest jump in the whole thing for me. This is called a plane jump. I have no idea why it's called a plane jump. I think it's a stupid name, but there we go, I made it. Uh, if you saw the, the brightness kind of ramp up, kind of shoot up, that's because um, I had two different video clips because I was having trouble with like getting it from Twitch to my computer. One of them I tried uh, going straight from Twitch to YouTube and downloading it, and that's the brighter one. The other one I tried recording it off of Twitch with Camtasia, and that's the, the one that's actual colors. Spike weaving, yay! Okay. And... There's really not much to say about this game at this point, because it's... It's just spike jumps. That's why I generally... Oh, right, right there was funny. Uh, I kind of didn't know that you could stand up there, so I didn't shoot the save and I messed up. But it's there's not much to say about spike weaving jump game. Do jump. Because it's it's not like you can laugh at traps or anything. It's just, yay, I did the jump. And that's, that's the commentary. This screen is quite difficult. This one is only hard because it's like got a, a diamond at the end and since diamonds are really difficult that one that makes that hard. This part I found pretty easy. It took me probably like three tries if I remember correctly for this one. I got a lot of these faster than you would think. More spike weaving. Jumping over, going up. And landing on that green platform down there. I've died to that spike before a couple times. And we are approaching the last screen of the game, which is right there. Last screen. It's not a terribly difficult screen, actually. Um, I, I expected the last screen to be significantly harder than it is. But no. Also, I had to leave that one in because it was kind of sad. Get to the very end on like on my my first attempt in that area or second attempt actually, and then I die. Very end. Very very end. So I got it that time. There's something cool about this engine. If you hug the wall when you're falling two blocks, you can make it through those little weaving parts pretty easily. So that's what that's what I do. I kind of hug the wall. Um, going up, going over, going around, getting the safe, going down, dying. And this is the last save in the game, and I win. So it just says, thanks for playing. Thanks for play. Thanks for play. So I beat it. It's a lot of fun. I, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch more streaming on Twitch. You guys should totally come to Twitch. I'll go back to normal-ish schedule of uploading videos and... Yeah, since I'm past the, the 
200 video mark, I don't have to worry about another special for quite a while. Next one would be like 500, so... Yeah, I got a long ways to go. Maybe if I got 500 subs before then I would make a video, but... That is really it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you come to my Twitch, which will also be in the description in case you don't know it. Twitch.tv slash Walsk. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for dealing with my month and a half-ish absence where you didn't seem to miss me that much. Used to people saying like, oh my god, they must have died. But I, I didn't die. No one asked. No one cared. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.